Zimbabwe. Always a good encounter. And this is for the fifth place. For Zimbabwe, an important one, as they would like to get as many points as possible. And a high finish next weekend could put them in contention for one of those challenger series spots. And Immediately they're off to the races. It was Sigoki with some incredible pace down the line there. Ryan Usumi with a conversion. It started to rain here at La Bordenay. Not heavy, but a fine mist rain. And what that will do is that will, of course, make the ball a bit slippery in terms of handling. Kosumi with a restart. Kenya Moran in red. Switch. Dennis Abukuse with a strong run. Was Abukuse brought to ground? Abukusi again trying to hand off. Then he goes to ground. It's a ruck. Zimbabwe must release. And again, big handoff from William Wanji, but he concedes the penalty. Musumi, Ryan Musumi, goes down, forces the ruck. This is definitely going to be physical. Musumi with a wide pass, not that accurate. It was Sigalki. And it's Shadrak Mandaza with a kick. If this bounces well, it could end well. Mandaza, yes! That's a great try for the Cheetahs. Shadrek Mandaza showing some excellent football skills. And can you find themselves 12 points down? Zimbabwe have got a lot of pace out wide and they're using it to good effect at the moment. And so far, Kenya have not been able to put their hands on the ball a great deal. Sumi makes no mistake with the conversion. And it's advantage to Zimbabwe, two converted tries. Kenya more hands. We'll have to dig deep here. Here 
Sweeper, which is a vital role in sevens. Playmaker. And when you play the six plus one defense, then it's the sweeper who's got to fall back. And especially with those kicks behind the defensive line that the sweeper must cover. These days, a lot of teams play with a full-on seven defense in line. Swamalwa changes direction. That's a beautiful run by William Mwanji and Kenya on the board. Kenya's Morans are on the board. They get their first try of the match with a minute and a half before the end of the first half. A lot of teams like to play out of structure, like South Africa, very much a structured team. And at the start of a move, the Kenyans at times might seem to be a bit disorganized, but they, they've got a wonderful anticipation for attacking opportunities. And out of nothing, they make something, as was the case there. It looked a bit disjointed. And the end result... A score. So 14 5 Zimbabwe lead. Again, the Cardinal Sun. Sumi. And again, they're going to go to the left where they've got a lot of pace. All held up. Now it's a tackle. And it's a line out. And then a free kick to Kenya. Clever use of his footballing skills there. Oh, a couple of missed tackles and Kenya are away. It's Victor Odiambo. If we allows that. And now it's a tackle ball. No wonder the Kenyan players are a bit confused. Somewhere on an effects mic or close to an effects mic, someone's alarm is going off. Strong ruck. Defense by Zimbabwe. Still Zimbabwe. And again with a kick through. It's a foot race. Harmony Wamalwa. And there must have been some interference there. Pushing says the referee. And they'll go for touch. Oh, he hasn't found touch. Sumi, excellent work. No, says the referee. Oh, he did, and then Sumi decides to kick it out so that they can go for a breather.
It's going to be an interesting seven minutes. Sumi makes no mistake with the restart on this occasion. Kenya immediately with the route one approach. Then they play it wide. William Wanji. Wanji again. And you've got a man over on the outside. Elvis Olukusi now on the pitch. They probe the blind side. William Wanji. Victor Diambo. Still Victor Diambo. He's going to score under the uprights. And we have a match on our hands. Kenya Moran straight back into this match. Festus Chiasi with a conversion. It's 14 12 to Zimbabwe. Important try right at the start of the second half. Zimbabwe with possession. Still Zimbabwe. The referee says it's gone backwards. Edward Sigalke. Edward Sigalke puts Zimbabwe a couple of points clear. And it's just gotten a bit harder for Kenya's Morans. That conversion is likely to go over, which means Kenya must score twice now. Masumi is unlikely to make a mistake from this close range. He's been very good for Zimbabwe this weekend. A key player in the Zimbabwe Cheetahs set up. 21-12, Zimbabwe Cheetahs lead over Kenya Morans. Can you not done yet? Joel Izuga with the score. How many were Malwa? It's 21 19. Got about two and a half minutes remaining. After this, it will be Burkina Faso against South Africa for the bronze medal playoff. Abu 
Bem-vindo à Suca do Maldito. Zimbabwe with a lot of encouragement from the side. Masumi. Still Masumi. Places the ball back very well. Still Zimbabwe with possession. Zimbabwe managed to score here. Yeah. Get the feeling that it could be it. High tackle, penalty to Zimbabwe. There's very little leeway these days for any high tackles. Anything that goes above the shoulders will be penalized. So time for Zimbabwe to reset this. And there he goes. That's Edwin Sigalki. And that'll be it. Sigalki waiting, scoring, conversion to come. I don't think there's enough time remaining for Kenya to score twice. Sumi. And Masumi with a conversion. And he's very happy with the performance of his side. Final score. 28-19 to Zimbabwe's Cheetahs over Kenya Morans and Zimbabwe finish this tournament in fifth position.